Hello, this is a video tutorial for my lesson effects and I will show you how to create this plate with a hole in the middle. This is a classic example of continuum mechanic. So the model I will take is here and you have all the deta details about the size uh, written on this scheme. I will divide the problem in two, um, in two axes of symmetry to reduce the size of the problem, to reduce the model time and also to introduce the blocking of the, this plate which is only submitted to pressure load. Now let's go into Midas NFX and open a new project. Now we have to create this uh, plate. So click on rectangle, select the middle of the axis and enter 150. Click on enter and now you have your rectangle. Cancel. Now you have click on normal in order to improve the size and we will create a circle. Again click on the middle here and here enter 20 for the radius. Now we have to intersect these two shapes. So click on intersect here, select these two shapes, click on OK. And we will delete these parts of the model. Click on the delete button of your keyboard. Create a face for rectangle. So you have to select all the edges. Click on OK. Now we have the surface and it's ready to be um, meshed and apply the loads. So the first thing we will do is to um, mesh it. Select 2D mesh and in NFX you have several options for the mesh. You have auto face, auto area, map face, map area. So here we are meshing a face so and we will use the Loni measure and only uh, triangle elements of second order. Select your plate. Number of division of 2.8 seems OK. Now click on uh, apply. So this is the basic mesh we have. You have to create a property for this mesh. So click on property click on this and modify and now you, you see you have several types of elements for 2D uh, surface mesh plate elements, membrane, surface, plane strain, axisymmetric composite shell and plot 2D so we will, add, we will just use plate element of thickness of 1 millimeter now you have to assign the boundary conditions and the loads Click on Static and Heat Analysis, Constraint, click on Advanced, and here we will assign the symmetry to these two boundaries. So here, uh, symmetry is in Y and Z axis. Click on Apply. Now select the nodes of this face and click on XZ Symmetric Plane. Click on Apply again. You have also to fix the translation in Z direction because it's 2D problem. Click on cancel and now we have to assign the pressure load. So click on pressure, 2D element edge, select these edges and assign a um, pressure load of minus 100 Newton by a millimeter. Okay. Now we have assigned all the conditions for your analysis. So we just have to create a new linear static analysis and solve the problem. Now we get the total displacement, the fundless stress, and the safety factor. 
in order to um, to view it better we can use the fringe contour and this is the result for the formula stress in order to view the constraints for example on these the x constraint we can add and results for the stress shell element stresses and assign the shell stress normal xx top okay and let's look at the distribution of this constraint on this uh, boundary so we can directly use the on curve tool to do that, select the two boundaries uh, and click on apply so now you can view directly on your plate the distribution of the constraint so the maximum is equal to 374 uh, megapascal if you want to draw a curve uh, about this, you can also use extract function and select here um, shell element stresses, shell stress normal xx, ok, select elements. Now you have to select this element of these faces okay. uh, if you don't see well the elements you can activate them using the mesh edges like that so we will unactivate these two elements and you can select the extraction position for the elements so we will extract the position into the center click on table to draw that into the table and you can after that select these two columns right click and show the graph directly into NFX it's also possible to export this curve into Microsoft Excel now if we come back to the results uh, you see the theoretical results we should have found for this analysis is around 372 megapascal so it is exactly what we found this time uh, but what I should say is that this result is very um, very depending on the mesh size and the type of mesh you are using so this is why I made a comparison between different type of meshes so you see for uh, this is the mesh size I used so I use two types of element. First, the linear triangle element, the quadratic triangle elements. So one has three nodes only and one has six nodes. And here you have the comparison of the results be between these uh, six analysis. So different mesh and different type of elements. So this is linear triangle elements, quadratic triangle elements. And here in this curve, you can compare the convergence of the solution for these uh, different elements so this is the displacement of the point E of my plate you see for the triangle uh, at three nodes it's quite, the convergence is quite slow so you have to use very small mesh size but for the second order triangle the convergence is very fast so this is why it's always better to use second order triangle elements. Now I have done the same analysis for quad elements. So quad elements here, you see the convergence for four nodes quad is better than three uh, nodes tetra elements. So if you have to choose between quad elements and triangle elements, always prefer the quad elements if it's possible to use them. Now for the constraint, uh, for the stress, 
here. So the here you have the linear triangle elements and the quadratic triangle elements. And again, this is a curve to show you the convergence of the stress. So you see for triangle three nodes, the convergence is even slower than for the displacement. So if you are doing stress analysis, always use uh, second order or quadratic triangle elements. And if you want to get the best accuracy and be efficient at the same time, the best is to uh, mesh around the hole like this with small mesh around the hole and use um, an adapted meshing. So if you do that, you will have less mesh, calculation will be faster, and also you will get uh, the results you need directly. So as I said, linear quad elements and linear triangle elements. Um, to get best accuracy, always use a second order triangle element. And for stress analysis, linear elements converge more slowly than for simple displacement analysis. And if you perform the stress analysis, always use second order elements. You can see the result between these two models. For the same mesh size, 5.2 millimeter. Here I have 30% of error and here only 4.5%. Uh, okay, if you want to know more about uh, the software I used, Midas NFX, you can ho go on this website, www.midasnfx.com and you can eventually download a free trial of 30 days of the software. Thank you very much for listening for watching for the to this video